The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. And I'm here with tennis coach Jim Frederick. And coach, the season is just beginning now with the spring slate almost ready to go in full action. Talk a little bit about your season opener coming up next weekend against Martin Methodist. Well, um, I'm excited about the season starting. The men's team is totally different with five new players. Um, three returning and five new players. So I, I'm really excited about that. The freshmen have done a great job this fall. We've had some good practices. The girls also will be better. We're, we're, uh, we got um, a girl from Ukraine in, in January, and, and she's looking really good. And, and it'll, it'll, it'll be a great competition for who plays five, six, and seven. That's pretty close. That's, right now, that's pretty much of a toss-up. I think we know who the top four will be, but five, six, and seven... Uh, we're going to play some matches this week, kind of determine that. So, but I'm looking forward to it because it's uh, particularly the guys with that many. It's just a totally new team. And with that new team uh, comes a lot of team bonding that has to take place in order to really get to know one another. Uh, of course, it's an individual competition one on one, but there's a lot of team aspects to tennis as well. You have a lot of long road trips this season. The team's going to rack up approximately 2,400 miles on the road round trip. Thank goodness I'm not driving. <laughs> <laughs> but talk about that team building process that you'd like to see with a lot of new coming players as they take on multiple road trips this season. Well, there's two things. Uh, we have one senior, Gabriel Dabdab, and he's the team captain. And really, it's he has a lot of responsibility in getting those four freshmen feeling like they're part of a team. Mm -hmm. And he's done a very good job at that. We got a, a, a new player in in January for the men's team who is a graduate student. And he is very mature. He's 23 years old. He's from Austria. He's been in the Army. He is extremely mature and will add some maturity to those four freshmen. Mm -hmm. But between the two of them, that should be where the leadership comes from to get that team together. We have Next Saturday, we have some team bonding. We have a team bonding um, outing at uh, the Adventure Park in Knoxville. So we'll see who can drive the best go-karts and who can jump the best trampolines. There you go. <laughs> Talking into the South Atlantic Conference play in the uh, SAC slate of action, uh, it opens and ends with two of the toughest teams in the conference in Wingate and Cl right, uh, in yeah. Queens. Uh, what are you most looking forward to in South Atlantic Conference play, knowing that so many teams, as we had talked about earlier in the day, are in the ITF regional rankings? Well, I think the biggest thing we always preach is effort and attitude, and the results take care of themselves. I think if you worry too much about where you're going to finish, whether you're going to win or lose. Your, be your best players do not worry about winning and losing. They play. Mm -hmm. And they focus on playing and getting the most out of their ability with their effort and attitude. And I think that's where we are. I think the guys are going to surprise some people this year. I think uh, the girls um, were a little bit better than we were last year. So, you know, we were a point away from finishing fourth in the conference last year. But I think the guys are going to surprise everybody. I'm kind of looking forward to that because I think we'll we're definitely surprised the people. Overall, if there was one matchup for both the men and women that you were most excited for on the spring slate, what would it be? Well, you have to say for the guys, Wingate, they're four in the country. I mean, and, you know, that's where we want this program to get to. So you got to see how good they are and say, okay, we've got to get players that good. We've got to play that well. We've got to get that kind of commitment. And that, that's a good thing. You know, the, the, the ladies, uh, same thing. I mean, Wingate, Queens, and Tusculum are, I mean, probably those three. Um, you know, and, and we played them well last year. We're not good enough to win, but we played all of them well last year. So I think we're a little bit better this year. We'll see. Coach, thank you for your time, and good luck in the upcoming season. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Signing off for now for the Eagle Sports Network, I'm Zachary Lang.